I'm Haircut, and I'm making my gear. Howdy! Hi, welcome back to part four of the ESP32 sampler. We are at audio playback today. Now, before we do that, we have to do a little finagling with the signal from this module. This little module, this little module, isn't that great? It's a noisy little microphone. The output from this microphone is very tiny. I didn't really take a look at the schematic before I hooked it up. I didn't realize until earlier this week when I was working on this video, the, uh, the microphone just goes through a buffer. So the trim pot seems to control the amount of signal going through the buffer. And the thing with that is, is that we need some gain when we're trying to record audio, right? Now, this microphone is noisy. It doesn't sound great, but again, we're prototyping. We'll get to a fancy schmancy microphone build later for this thing. But for right now, all we're gonna do is we're going to give this guy a little bit more gain so that we can actually hear some audio. Now, what we're gonna do is we got a simple little, tiny little schmitzy litzy little op amp circuit, nothing crazy. We're gonna do a little bit of op amping and level shifting a little bit just to make sure that everything is you know nice and kosher going into the ESP32. There you have it. We're gonna we're gonna sample. Let's uh, just do a quick refresher on how we're gonna hook up the microphone. We're gonna be changing a couple things just to make the sure that this uh, signal is nice and healthy going into the ESP32. So let's get our microphone module here and we are going to take the plus and hook it up to 3.3 volts. We're going to take the G and hook it up to ground. We are going to take the A0 signal and hook it up to a, the positive lead of a 10 microfarad capacitor. And what that's going to do is it's going to block any DC component coming off the microphone. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to shift up the signal. And how we're going to do that is we're going to make a voltage divider with two 10K resistors. Now, the midpoint is 1.65 volts. We are going to level shift this side of the capacitor to 1.65 volts and that is going to go to an op amp circuit. And right here, I've got a LM358 op amp. We're gonna power it with 3.3 volts. So we need to make a little change here. Okay. So now I have more pins available to me for 3.3 volts. Pin eight on the op amp is VCC and ground is pin four. Ground is right here, okay. Okay, ground is pin four, and then the signal from the microphone goes to pin three, which is the inverting input. And then we need to give it some gain. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 1K resistor and we're gonna hook it directly to pin two, okay? The other side of the resistor, we're going to hook it up to the 1.65 volt midpoint, okay? And then we're gonna take a 470K resistor and hook it from pin two to pin one, pin one being the output, and that is going to give us I don't know, a gain of 47 or something like that. I can't remember. Anyways, then what we're going to do is we're going to take a one microfarad capacitor and we're going to hook it up to pin one. We're going to block any DC content there. And then we need to go from the other side of that capacitor to pin 36. So that's the circuit. Looks like a complete mess. And then we need to hook up the audio jack for the sleeve. Go to ground and pin 25 as our ADC or our, sorry, our DAC. Then we got our jack. So if you are looking for a more detailed version of this, please head over to my Medium page and I'll have a full schematic. I'll try to give you a nice little breakdown of how to hook it up on the breadboard because I know these kind of YouTube videos can be kind of hard to follow on the breadboard. And uh, yeah, so let's change the code around and uh, start messing around with this thing. Let's go. I'm building off of what we did last week in the microphone sketch. So I'm just gonna walk through kind of, you know, the basic stuff, same as every video, and uh, I'll try to point out the places that I made some changes, and we'll go from there. So like always, up at the top here, we've got our definitions. Mic input is our GPIO 36, analog input from our microphone. The audio output is now on pin 25, and that is our DAC, right? And then we define our sample rate and our recording duration and figure out the total number of samples 
pixels and uh, I've changed the pointer from an integer to an 8-bit integer and the benefit of this is that it actually uses less memory than a regular integer so this is actually going to help us out in in saving memory for recording audio so here's our setup same as last week uh, serial begin starts our serial monitor for debugging then we define our microphone as an input we say hey the setup's complete we're ready to record then we initialize the DAC uh, on our audio output then we say hey the DAC is initialized and we are ready to record then let's jump down into our loop first thing we do is we check to see if there's any available RAM before we record because we want to make sure that there's RAM available then we dynamically allocate memory for the audio data if you notice here I've changed this used to be integer so we make sure that that's an 8-bit integer and if it fails to allocate that memory it tells us we're not recording and we leave then we go on to record audio and let's jump down to record audio it's the same as last week so here's our record audio function so what happens is it reads the mic input from 0 to 295 then shifts it down to 8 bit from 0 to 255 stores it in raw audio data and then we go on to this part which is printing the first 10 samples and printing the last 10 samples okay then we go back up then we check how the ram has changed after recording so if the ram before is less than the ram after then we know that we've successfully recorded audio if not we say hey nothing recorded then we display the summary in our serial monitor. Eventually we'll take this out, but for right now we're just leaving it in. It's the same as last week. And then we go on to play audio. So this is different. So we've removed some of that logic that clears the memory and waits 10 seconds and we just go straight to playing audio. So we print in the serial monitor that we're starting playback. That's just for a visual cue, right? And then what we do is we loop through the recorded audio buffer. So what we're doing is we're waiting for the correct time for each sample. So we make sure that each sample lines up in its correct time slot, and then we write that 8-bit value to the DAC pin, okay? And it just keeps going and going and going. All right, let's test it out. Just to forewarn you, the microphone is very noisy. It's uh, not that great. We are going to have to clean up the audio signal at some point later. Um, but for right now, it's going to work for what we needed to do. One thing I want to mention before I do this too is that so when the sketch first boots up it's going to record audio and then it's just going to loop back whatever it records forever and ever and ever until you press reset again and then it starts recording audio. So I'm going to press reset on the ESP32 while I'm singing into the microphone, let go of the reset button and, uh, and then I'll turn up the amp and we can see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> We're sampling. We're sampling. Congratulations. We're sampling. So next time you know i don't really feel it necessary to clean up the audio right away what are we going to do what are we going to do what are we going to do we're sampling we're sampling i think we got to hook the keypad back up and we got to hook up our record button and our loop mode button start getting that stuff figured out how are we going to do the pitched playback across the keypad we need to put in our recording logic for our button so that we don't have to press the reset button every time we want to re-record a sample right maybe even get our loop set button that would be probably smart we'll do that and uh then we're really we're really close to like building it we're getting close to the to the real we're getting there Anyway, if you like what I'm doing over here, subscribe to the channel. If you've subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.